It's the best. No ramps, no bowls. It's amazing. I love it. JK, this place sucks. Imagine this being the first thing that you read about a skate park that you just somehow stumbled upon on Google. Now imagine seeing the one-star review and being like, oh my gosh, I have to skate this park. I don't know why, I just have to, but it's all the way in Staten Island. And just like that, we are on Staten Island. And I always feel so uncomfortable boosting in a town like this rather than in the middle of the city. But we're about to be upon the skate park in just a second. Do you guys know where the skate park is? Ben Soto? Okay, sorry. Yeah, Ben Soto Skate Park. I found it. And I have no idea what people were talking about. This park is amazing. I'm not exaggerating when I say this, this is one of the best skate parks I've ever seen in terms of someone who likes ledges or manual pads or just new obstacles that you wouldn't find at any other skate park. This is incredible. It's actually impressive how awful this skate park is. I totally see it from a politician's point of view. Make it as cheap and as boring as humanly possible so that no one would ever want to use it. No one uses it and no one gets hurt and no wear and tear and hence no future maintenance needed. Everyone wins except of course the user. What are you talking about? I'm sure most of you right now are thinking, how can someone say that about a park that seems so good compared to the park that you have or you might not even have a skate park. So when you see this, you're like, how can you complain about this? But before I say anything else, I'm gonna do one trick on every single obstacle in here right now and let's just see how long it takes. There you go, now I'm sweating profusely and I only did one trick on each obstacle. So just warming up at this skate park, that's how amazing it is. Oh, thanks dude. Appreciate that. But John did add a little bit of clarity on the situation. He said a long time ago, the skate park was mostly quarter pipes and ramps. So I think a lot of people will probably get really discouraged if they're used to skating ramps, like big quarter pipes and cool stuff like that. And then all of a sudden it becoming very street oriented. I can understand the frustration there. But for me, this is more than ideal. I would travel pretty far just to skate one or two of these obstacles. Even one of these ledges is a perfect ledge that I would love to go to. So today, I don't even know where to start and what I want to do. Except that I know that I wanna to try to learn some new tricks today. So I'm gonna go for first a kickflip front crook. Probably gonna be a nightmare, but I gotta try it. Insanely lucky. I'm also filming vertical because this goes to my Instagram story. So I had to film like this, but now what? That was fourth try, which is insane because front crook took me longer than that earlier. Um, now I'm gonna think of another trick so I can ruin my day, even though I just did something that makes me happy for the rest of the day. Got it. So I did the fakey crooked grind, and then I did a fakey flip tail slide. So the obvious combination is the fakey flip crook, which I may have done one in the past, but I remember it being excruciating. 
if I did it, if I ever landed, I literally don't remember. So here we go. First time doing it, baby. Okay, so this place is perfect to film like an Instagram run. Like you go through, you do a line, you hit a couple tricks, and luckily there's another person here to help film. So I did all four tricks by themselves. I did the 180 faking Manny, I did the switch 5-0 on a little thingy, and then I did the half cab heel board slide, and then the front people on the rail. I'm stoked on all four of these tricks, but now it's time to battle them all in a row, which is, yeah, it might be difficult. So let's see if I can convince the guy. This is John Hill of the future. I just posted an Instagram of a clip from the park and I asked one to five, what would you guys rate this? And actually a lot of people in the audience thought the same thing as the people online. They were like, that looks terrible. There's no ramps or anything besides ledges and stairs and things. So I think it's just like nowadays that people are so oriented to actual skate parks with ramps that they don't like just the street stuff. Like even stairs, I don't know. So yeah, some people said five, but I think most of the people thought eh, like a three, like that average saw. So. Learn my lesson. And what's the conclusion you can draw from this? Never trust reviews, especially for skate parks. I can always find something to enjoy at a skate park typically, something here or there, like a little ledge, a curb, anything to me is at least fun, but that park literally had 22 different obstacles. I, I can't imagine going there and giving it one star at all. I hope you enjoyed this video. I upload videos every Tuesday and Thursday, so stay tuned for all the ones to come. If you haven't seen the most recent videos, there's lots of skateboarding, lots of good times, and they will pop up in just a second. But yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. That was so fun. Hopefully uh, you guys will tune in for the next adventure. And on that note, I love you so much. Progress daily and keep going it. How the freaking far this place have one star? 22 different ledges and rails. Legit funnerest park I have ever tasted. And by tasted, I mean touched. Gently. In all honesty, the trip there sucks dong water, but I would kill an inanimate object to have this park right by my apartment. Ground is actually good and bring enough wax to hallucinate. That's it. New favorite. Love you.